सुप्रभातम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल प्लांट्स एंड मी दिस इज डॉक्टर श्रीदेवी फ्रॉम मंगलुरु कर्नाटका इंडिया टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू रीपॉट दिस प्लांट कॉल्ड एज एल्पीनिया गैलेंगा इट्स अ मेडिसिनल प्लांट आई हैड पुट वन राइजोम इन इट एंड दिस हैज ग्रोन सो मच इनफैक्ट इट वॉज लाइंग इन वन ऑफ द कॉर्नर्स ऑफ माई गार्डन I had completely forgotten. I used to water it occasionally, and that's it. The roots have outgrown the pot. It needs repotting. So many plants have come from one rhizome. I think rhizome has grown inside. It has given out new branches. In fact, there is one new branch. coming up here this needs a repotting the plant has gone out uh, the pot has gone out of shape also so i would be giving it a new pot i have soaked this pot in water for about half an hour so that i can remove it easily i would be removing it from this pot and putting in a new pot alpinia galanga is also called as rasna in kerala it is called as rasna the leaves are uh, perfumed they are aromatic they have got a nice fragrance and the rhizomes are used as painkiller in ayurvedic classics it is told it is a painkiller it is a rhizome so it requires a loose soil for its growth i'll be showing what all components i am going to use for repotting this is a 12 inch pot it has got large drainage holes in it so i am going to cover that with a plastic sheet Uh, underneath this is a normal garden soil brought from the nursery this is the vermi compost this is a sand which i am going to use for mixing in this potting mix and this is the epsom salt which i am going to add i have covered the base of the pot with this a uh, sheet it's not a plastic sheet it is a hard cardboard i'm using equal amount of potting mix and the sand i'll be mixing both of them now i have taken 50 50% or 1 is to 1 ratio of sand and soil because they are rhizomes they need a well draining soil the rhizomes store food material in them so they are prone to rotting water should not be stagnant in the potting mix and that is the reason i am mixing sand and the potting mix in equal quantity it will become a very very porous and well draining type of potting mix to this i will be adding vermi compost they are rhizomes they store food material hence they require a lot of food material and that is supplied by the vermi compost i am adding vermi compost about half the quantity of this mixture i am adding vermi compost
again I am mixing this well I will add this to the pot I will fill up to two thirds uh, sorry one third of the pot now this is up to one third now to this potting mix I will add more vermi compost now I will remove the plant from the pot it's so very well grown I had soaked it already so it should come out easily there are roots coming out from the drainage holes let us see as I touch the leaves there is nice fragrance it came out very easily there are mealy bugs here root mealies I will do one thing I will treat this with liquid uh, dish wash and then so uh, then repot it if I keep this as it is in the pot then the plant will not grow properly because it is root infestation is there this is about one liter of plain water tap water to this I am adding five drops two three four and five I'll mix it nicely and in that I will sit this plant for 5 minutes I have soaked the root ball of the plant in the liquid dish wash soap I mixed it in uh, plain water that would kill the root mealies so the mealy bug in the roots it was quite a discovery I am now placing this plant here and I would be filling the pot with the potting soil water requirements the plant does not need daily watering it can be watered when the top one inch of the potting soil gets completely dry if we water it too much then the rhizomes will rot so it doesn't need daily watering sunlight it is a full sun plant it requires about six to eight hours of sunlight daily then about the nutrition I have already put vermicompost in it once that vermicompost gets used up I will replenish the potting mix again with vermicompost that's about the repotting of Alpinia galanga or Rasna thanks for joining take care bye